Hello, welcome back to Wild About Nature. First video of the year, 2017 this. And only an accidental video, really, as I uncovered my little friend whilst I was doing some work on one of the insect habitats. For one of the first times I've been out in the garden. No frogs yet, 5th of March, quite late. Normally get them 28th of February last year. There's a couple in there, but um, they haven't spawned yet. So, I was hoping to come out this morning and find some because the weather's a little bit warmer, but unfortunately not. Garden is a complete tip. As you know, if you've been watching my videos, this is the year of the, the big cleanup pond installation. There's so much work going on. I'm trying to stay on top of it. So what I'm doing is I'm creating some food for insects, invertebrates in uh, tubs and troughs. These are alliums, which are fantastic for bees. I've got hebes planted and um, some other stuff that, that hopefully will see them through. So what I was doing this morning, one of my insect habitats, which used to be over there, the bottom's fallen off, it's old. It's one of my first ones I ever did. So it's, it's in need of some restoration. So I unscrewed it, took it down, and was taking out the wooden chunks, if you like, with holes in, in this section here, loads of spiders and stuff. And what did I find but a, a friend there, a little queen wasp. I don't know if you can see that. Just over there in the corner. She's been uh, hibernating throughout the winter. And has gone in there. It's under the eaves of this habitat. Which makes sense as she's dry and warm. Unfortunately I've uncovered her now. And it's not a good place for her to be. I don't want to risk covering her with logs again. I might injure her. So I'm going to... I'm going to take out the wood and uh, and rehome her somewhere. I've got a little place over on one of the other habitats I can put her in. So I'm just going to remove this this log here so you can take a look at her. I've got to be really careful here because I don't want to injure her in any way. And these are really jammed in, which doesn't help. So oh, there we go. So if you can see her there now. Over the winter, she looks like she's not well, but I don't know if you can see it there, but one of the things a queen wasp does, they never go back to the nest from the previous year. Generally speaking, it will be full of dead wasps. I believe this is a paper wasp queen, but please feel free to correct that. They never go back to the same nest because it's full of dead wasps, and that's obviously from a sanitary and sort of bacterial position. That wouldn't be very safe to do. So they start the whole process every year and she will be the only surviving colony member. Um, I don't know if you can see on her back, it doesn't look like she's got wings. Now what they do is they tuck their wings. She, she's still in full hibernation. I haven't actually disturbed her at all. Um, they tuck their wings under their bodies and their middle set of legs. If you imagine they, they've got six legs in um, of wasps the middle set grabs the wings and holds on to them and that's what the position she's in now um, so what I'll do is I'll, I'll have to turn the video off while I uh, while I pick her up because I, I need both hands but once I, uh, I find a new position for her I'll carry the video on but I thought you might find it interesting because it's very it's not rare to find one but you normally see them in early spring because obviously a, a large wasp of this size and she is a good three quarters of an inch long is always going to be a queen this time of year but um you never find them really in this state which is full hibernation so i thought it might be interesting to show it but uh just bear with me i'm gonna move her now so change of plan I never moved her in the end. The heavens literally opened the moment I uh, finished the first section of the video and I never moved her. I thought it best to put the habitat back in a vertical position, cover her in paper, kind of wedge it in as far as I could without hurting her and leave her alone, let her come out of hibernation naturally. I did find it amazing that her wings were tucked under like that. I've always thought of wings as being fragile, but obviously they're more robust than we think. So please, uh, you know, give wasps another thought when you see them next. They are a wonderful species and, and they're demonised around the world and always killed. But they're 
like everything else and like us, just trying to survive and raise young and live another year. And they are remarkable creatures if you read about them and particularly the queens. So thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll make another video soon. Wishing